Thompson way outside. Bang! 60 for Clay Thompson. It's been a minute. In fact, it's been well over a million of them since Clay Thompson's last NBA game on June 13th, 2019. Moments before the Warriors season ended and a Raptors celebration began, at the end of a 30-point night, Thompson's career took an unplanned, unwanted hiatus. Thompson grabs his left knee, now writhing in pain. Everybody holding their breath. A torn left anterior cruciate ligament. Thompson suffered a right leg injury while working out. An MRI confirmed it is a torn Achilles. While he's waited and worked his way back, the world and the league kept spinning. So much has happened. Of the eight Raptors who played in their title clinching game six of that finals, only Pascal Siakam and Fred Van Vliet remain in Toronto. Thompson's teammate, Kevin Durant, who suffered a torn Achilles in game five, left for Brooklyn that summer to be joined by then Celtic Kyrie Irving and later then Rocket James Harden. Clay Thompson's last game was six months before scientists identified the COVID-19 virus and nine before the NBA shut down. There was unprecedented weirdness and profound sadness, health and safety protocols, and pleas for social justice. A bubble, a bubble shutdown, a bubble MVP, and a champion crowned in a mostly empty gym in October. Fans returned to arenas. The Bucks won their first championship in 50 years. I can't wait, man. I got a lot of pent up energy. I just want to play basketball. Since Thompson last broke a game sweat, these guys all broke into the league, and there have been 23 head coaching changes. In the 30 months since Thompson's last game, the Warriors debuted a new building and dressed 36 players. Welcome to San Francisco, and away we go. Thompson's splash brother, Steph Curry, was third on the career threes list when they last played together. How much longer until you break Ray Allen's three-point record? And now... Here's Curry for the record. It's good! And there it is! The all-time three-point king in the NBA! Can you even put into words how much of a challenge this is? It's way harder than any basketball game I've ever had to play. I knew I did it right away. I was working my butt off for 10 months up to that point. His time away brought him a lot of suffering because the thing he likes to do best was taken away from him. The mental toll is not very fun. You always guess if you're going to be the same player you once were. It's worth mentioning, no one's ever pulled off what Thompson is attempting. I don't recall an NBA player coming back from an ACL and an Achilles tear. It's unprecedented. It's been two and a half years. Finally, approaching his 32nd birthday, Clay Thompson is back. But the Clay Thompson we remember? The time to wait is over. The time for Clay is now.